In this video, we are going to compare the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones side by side to the Sennheiser G3 microphones to see which one sounds better when plugged directly into the GH5. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're ready to start that video show you've been dreaming about, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. These Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones came out pretty recently and they have disrupted the audio industry and many people are saying that they will replace the need for these Sennheiser microphones which have become the go-to standard for pretty much all videographers out there. Now I'm a little skeptical about that because these are about $600 while these I believe are closer to $300. So we are going to compare them side by side. We're gonna use the exact same audio enhancements that I typically use, and we're gonna see which one sounds better when plugged directly into the Panasonic GH5. You are now hearing what the Sennheiser EWG4 microphones sound like. So we are obviously outside. There are a ton of cicadas out here because we are out in Texas and they just are out and about right now. So this is obviously going to be a little different if you were inside, but we wanted to test it while we were outside so that we could compare and really get the full capabilities of these microphones. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone sounds like with just the body pack. Now you can also have the lavalier plugged into the body pack because this can look a little bit funny on your shirt. I find it very convenient for vlogging, but if you're doing like seated talking head videos like I typically do on this channel, then you're definitely gonna wanna use the lavalier. So let's plug that in, see what it sounds like. All right, we now have the lavalier plugged in. So once again, I wanna point out we're outside, we got a lot of noise. I'm doing very minimal editing of the actual audio, but I am doing some editing because I really can't recommend doing that enough. It's even with really fancy microphones, you can enhance the audio by doing just a little bit of post-production on it. So we're gonna throw these on the computer and compare them side by side and see what they sound like. All right, so we are now in the editing room and I want to walk you through some side-by-side -side comparisons, explain a little bit of my thoughts as well as what's happening behind the scenes so that you can get the best analysis from this video because a lot of people think they're just gonna buy these microphones and they're gonna sound exactly like mine right out the box. And it does take a little bit of, a couple of things behind the scenes to ensure that you do get that quality sound that I have in my videos. So let's talk about it. The first thing that I wanna explain is that I went ahead and balanced the levels for all of them. So that makes a for a strong side-by-side -side comparison because it can be really challenging when you're recording these microphones to record at the, you know, at the exact levels. So I think that's the first thing to balance it out. The second thing that I did is remove the background noise. So I'm going to be walking you guys through what these sound like with the background noise still there, but with the levels balanced out. So you can see the difference between how the Sennheiser microphones pick up the background noise versus the Rode Wireless Go 2. And then I also want to show you what the microphones sound like in a controlled setting. So in my typical talking head video setting, so that you can see without the cicadas what it sounds like, because <laughs> um, I think that, that is also super helpful. So let's run through these real quick and get to it. You are now hearing what the Sennheiser EWG4 microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone sounds like with just the body pack. All right, we now have the lavalier plugged in. So once again, I wanna point out we're outside, we got a lot of noise. All right, so I think that the Sennheiser is definitely a more robust sound and I'm not great with this kind of <laughs> lingo but i feel like it, if anything it has more treble like you can kind of hear more distinct sounds while the other one feels slightly more muted but to the untrained ear i don't think you can hear it so i'll play this the two back to back and you can kind of see what i mean so this is the more robust sound right here the four microphones sound like you are now hearing what the rode wireless go two microphone I sounds think that's like slightly 
less of a robust sound. So whether you hear that or not, for a $300 difference, I'd say it's really not that big of a deal for the go-to, um, the Rode Wireless go-to. But yeah, I think generally speaking, this does have a $300 for, for the trained ear, it is a little bit better. You can definitely tell. Now, in terms of just the body pack, look at that face, <laughs> using just the body pack versus having the lavalier microphone plugged in, I don't really hear a difference between the two, which was surprising to me. I thought that there might be a shift, but there's really not. So I'll play that. With just the body pack. All right, we now have the lavalier plugged in. So once again, I want to point out we're outside. We got it might be a super subtle difference, like it just slightly lower, I guess, to a certain extent. But once again, I don't think that there's a massive difference. And for me personally, having the lavalier plugged in looks a lot better than having this on your shirts. Now, when I have done uh, vlogs in the past, I definitely have been lazy and just clipped that to my shirt way more often than I would anticipate myself doing. Uh, because I like that kind of more pro look. So, and I think this is easier to hide because a lot of people talk about wanting to hide their lavalier. So you do have to buy the lavalier in addition to it. And by the way, all of these things are linked in the description below. Um, so you can go buy those there, but you do have to buy the lavalier separate from just the mics themselves. So there is an additional expense there. So now let's listen to what they sound like when there is no noise reduction at all. So this layer right here, you can watch it as it's playing. Whenever the playhead goes over that section, it's going to be the original clip balanced out. So I had to raise these to match the Sennheiser a little bit because um, I recorded it at a lower sensitivity here and just to match it, raise it up. So the this is the noise reduction and then when it switches to this clip over here you're going to hear that the sound has been reduced and it's a pretty significant difference so give it a listen see what you think and by the way if this video is helpful for you please be sure to like and drop a comment below letting me know it really helps me out you are now hearing what the sennheiser ewg four microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone sounds like with just the body pack. All right, we now have the lavalier plugged in. So once again, I wanna point out we're outside, we got a lot of noise. All right, so you can see there's a significant difference when you remove the, the, the noise Sir reduction. EWG four microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone sounds like so that's why I really can't recommend that video enough. And once again, I'll link to that in the description below, how to remove background noise. Um, now in terms of the noise floor compared, the G4 compared to the Rode Wireless Go 2, I would say that the G4 is more sensitive and that the Rode Wireless Go 2 is a little bit better at removing that background noise right out the gate. So here's, how you can hear that. Sennheiser EWG4 microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone. I think the cicadas are just slightly lower in this one than the other one. So there's that. And when we actually remove the sounds, and I know we're getting super technical here, but I think it's a super interesting nerding out. If you're nerding out with me, once again, be sure to click like, drop a comment below. Or microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2. So once the background noise is taken out, now I'm kind of paying attention to, is there, like, which one sounds better when the noise is removed, right? Or microphones sound like. You are now hearing what the Rode Wireless Go 2. I think that it's easier to take out the background noise in the Rode Wireless Go 2. But it's such a subtle difference that once again, for $300 difference, for a 50% price drop, I think the Rode Wireless Go 2 is insane. <laughs> so now let's look at it in a controlled environment so that you can see the difference. So this is the, the Sennheiser microphone, and then this clip will be the um, other one the Rode Wireless Go 2, both with the lavalier. So I did not, this is an example where I did not test using the body pack. Yep. So here we go. 
I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. I'm Amanda Horvath and I eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So I think you can really tell a difference here in terms of like, <laughs> this has like more of a tinny sound that like higher treble, which I could do totally wrong. Feel free to correct me in the comments if I am wrong with that terminology, but you can definitely hear a difference. Sitting right now in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. I'm Amanda Horvath and I eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting. It just has like more of a crisp sound, but once again, $300 difference. You tell me, what do you think? Drop your comments below. After some thorough analysis, the conclusion that I've made is that the Sennheiser microphones are really made more so for controlled environments. So when you're sitting at your house versus the Rode Wireless Go 2 are a little bit more run and gun type microphones. They're gonna reduce the background noise across the board because we found that they actually do a better job of removing the sound of the cicadas in the background. So I'm about to film a ton of videos today and I have decided to use the Rode Wireless Go 2 instead of the Sennheiser microphones because we're going to be on the go. But I would love to know your opinion of what you think. Which one sounded better to you? Go ahead and drop your comments below and let's continue the conversation.